and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today the Tombly Boos are enjoying the outside weather, I'm waiting for the Ninky Nonk. The Ninky Nonk has a surprise for the Tombly Boos. Here comes the Ninky Nonk now. Oh look, Tombly Boos. There's a gift inside the Ninky Nonk. Shall I help you open it? It's wrapped in blue paper. Hmm, it's a whole bunch of puzzle pieces. One, two, three, four, five puzzle pieces. Let's do the puzzle together, Tombly Boos, and see what the picture is. Hmm, this looks like it's the front of the Ninky Nonk. Let's put this puzzle piece right there. What part do you think comes next? Hmm, I think that would be the next piece on the Ninky Nonk and it fits perfectly. Next, we have the Ponty Pine House, and there's a little piece of the green part of the Pinky Ponk. And the next part of the Ninky Nonk is this piece right here. And the last part of the Ninky Nonk would be little Iggle Piggle part the little car. Oh, and there's our puzzle, Tombly Boos. What a wonderful gift, Ninky Nonk. Thank you, and the Tombly Boos will very much enjoy this puzzle. And thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello, and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today, we're going to join Macapaca and he's got his og pog and his sponge and his soap and he's going to help us fix his mixed up gazebo in the night garden puzzle game. Now Makapaka, this picture is all mumble jumble. Let's try and fix Eggle Piggle's body. He has his head and he has his legs, but this piece does not belong. Let's flip it and see which one belongs. There we go. Iggle Piggle has his head, body, and his legs, and it looks like he's hanging on to Upsy Daisy. But I don't see Upsy Daisy's legs or head. Let's find Upsy Daisy's head. Oh, Upsy Daisy, there she is. And we need to find Upsy Daisy's legs. Upsy Daisy's legs are all put back together. Now there's only two pieces that do not belong. Does that piece belong? No. Oh, there's the rest of Upsy Daisy. And this piece, there we go, is all better. So our first picture is Iggle Piggle hanging on and dancing with Upsy Daisy. Let's move on to our next puzzle picture. Mm. Now this piece has no picture. It's just a yellow square. Let's find out. Oh, and this is the next piece to our yellow puzzle. I see Iggle Piggle. Eggle Piggle must be holding on to his blanket. Let's flip the rest of the pieces to find out. Oh, I see Eggle Piggle's eyes. Ah, yes. There we go. This puzzle piece makes a picture of Eggle Piggle with his blanket. And he's waving hello. Hello, Eggle Piggle. Let's do 
our last puzzle. Makapaka. Good job, Makapaka. The first piece has a purple colour. And I think I see Upsy Daisy's hair. Oh yes, there is Upsy Daisy's face. And her skirt and her legs. Oh, Makapaka, Makapaka. That's right, Makapaka. There is a picture of your legs. You must be in this puzzle. Oh, oh little Makapaka. Iggle Piggle and Upsy Daisy are standing beside Makapaka. And it looks like Iggle Piggle's about to give a hug to Makapaka. Makapaka! Such wonderful friends in the night garden. We've sorted your puzzle, Makapaka. Makapaka, Makapaka! I hope this made your day a little more special. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today the Teletubbies are going to play a puzzle game and they're going to dress up the little girl in the puzzle. Let's go pick an outfit. Okay, it's Dipsy's turn first. What outfit do you want, Dipsy? Ah, Dipsy wants the outfit with green in it. And here's the matching pants. Very nice outfit. Good job, Dipsy. Now Tinky Winky and Kitty are picking out an outfit. What outfit would you like, Tinky Winky? Tinky Winky. Ah, the outfit with purple. White shirt, purple pants. Ah, Dipsy likes it. Lala, there's two outfits to choose from. Which one would Lala like? Lala! Oh, Lala likes the blue wavy one. Lala! Very nice choice, Lala. It only leaves one outfit left for Poe. And this outfit has strawberries. Poe likes strawberries. Strawberries! Yay! Our puzzle is complete. But wait, we have to put all away the missing pieces. We always want to clean up after we're done playing. Good job, Teletubbies. And thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Tiny Treasures and Toys. Please subscribe. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today we're going to have fun with a Playmobil 3D puzzle. And you're going to help me. What does the word say in the middle? It's C-I-R-C-U-S. It's a circus puzzle. There are still circus shows around the world that use animals. The animals aren't usually treated very well. They are scared and put in small cages. So what can you do? Say no to circuses with animals. Now let's start building our puzzle. What do you think goes here? It's in the sky and it looks like the shape of a cloud. Let's see if it fits. Oh, I think I need to turn it over. Yep. There we go. Now let's look at the piece at the top. It looks like somebody is walking a tightrope, a very thin rope, and they need very good balance so they don't fall, because if they fall, they could get hurt. This person also is holding a bar to balance. It's a little clown. Does it fit? Yes, it does. Okay, now let's look for this person. They are balancing on a ball and a barrel. 
and we need to find the barrel piece as well. So let's see who's doing this trick. It's another clown! And this clown has two different colored suspenders, one green and one blue. Let's see if our clown fits. I don't know how he's balancing on a ball and a barrel. Now we need to find the barrel. What color do you think it is? Most barrels are brown, but this one is blue. We have three pieces left to our puzzle. Two of them are animals. What animals do you think they are? There's one on top of a ball and another animal. We have a white horse with brown spots. And it has a saddle. Does a clown fit on top? Oh yes, it can stand and it stays as you play. So the horse goes underneath the ball. And what is it balancing? It's a dog. What does a dog say? Ruff, ruff. A brown spotted dog on a beach ball. Now we have one last piece, the ladder, because the little clown needs to be able to get up onto the tightrope. And it's a green ladder. And now our puzzle is complete. Thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. We sure hope you enjoyed our video today. We're here to ask our fans for some help. Did you know only 15% of our fans have subscribed to Tiny Treasures? So you can help us by pushing the subscribe button and subscribe to our channel. It helps us get recognized by YouTube when we gain subscribers. That way we can continue to make fun learning videos every single day. And for those fans who have already subscribed to our channel, a great big thank you. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. We are at the Fisher Price Little People House with our In the Night Garden friends. Let's ring the doorbell. Who's behind the red door? Oh, it's Maka Paka. And he has his little pink sponge with him. Hi, Maka Paka. Let's explore the house today. What's upstairs in the bedroom? Oh, it's a little camera. And this isn't just any camera, it's called a Polaroid. You push the button and a picture instantly pops out of the camera. Hmm, it's not working. Let's try it again. There we go. Tiny Treasures has a camera just like this. And we took an instant photo of our pet cat in the sink. Silly kitty. And beside the camera is a record player. This is how people used to listen to music. The record would spin and a needle would lightly touch the surface of the record to play the song. One of the Tomlibus would like to go down the yellow chimney slide. Climb up, 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 Tomlibu. Make sure nobody's down there. It's clear. Whee! What's behind the big red garage door? <gasps> wow! It's full of wooden pieces. These are characters from Barba Papa, a popular book and show. These are stacking wooden pieces, and we're going to see how high we can stack them up. There's Barba Papa, bright and pink. He can turn his body into any shape he wants. Let's put the little black bull under Barba Papa's arm. And then we have Barba Mama. She loves to cook. Nay, nay. The pink horse will be beside Barbara Mama. Barbara Bright is a scientist, and it looks like he's winking at us. Can you wink one eye? 
Or how about snapping? It took me years as a kid to learn how to snap properly. Here's a blue chicken. Maybe she's laying an egg on the horse's back. Next we have Barbalib. She loves to read books just like my kids. She has green glasses on. A purple fish swims through the water. I love to watch fish swim in an aquarium. I find it very relaxing. Meet Barbara Lala. She loves music and loves to play instruments. And this is the dog Lolita. She's white with black spots. What breed of dog do you think she is? Maybe a Dalmatian. Look out, a bird flying up ahead. Or is it a bat? I'm not quite sure. It has a long nose and it's bright yellow in color. And I'm going to introduce another yellow character. Her name is Barba Zoo. And she loves to protect nature and animals just like we do. She's holding a white cat. Did you know that holding and petting a cat actually decreases stress? I love to snuggle kitty and she loves to sit on my lap. Now it's time to stack our green snail. We get many snails in our yard in springtime. Do you remember when we had all of those snails in the Ninky Nong train? That was a fun video. We only have four pieces left to stack. We're almost finished. <laughs> Next, we are going to stack our orange sheep, and she's wearing glasses. Animals don't wear glasses. Everyone meet Barba Bo. He's an artist and loves to draw and paint. What does his face tell you? He looks mad, doesn't he? We can tell a lot by how a person feels looking at their face. Wonder what's made him so upset. Barbara Bell loves to wear jewelry. She has a pretty pearl necklace on today. And that leaves us with, oops. Oh, there we go, that was close. We only have one piece left, and this is Barbara Bravo. He loves sports, and he stays active. It's important to make sure we move every day and do something active. It makes us feel happier and healthier. And there we are. We managed to stack every character without it coming crashing down. Did you count how many pieces I stacked? Oh, the Tombly Boo is playing with our spinny toy on the house. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Tiny Treasures and Toys. Please subscribe. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. We have a brand new Blue's Clues wooden puzzle by Melissa and Doug. We're going to learn colors of the rainbow today and then we're going to try and create our own rainbow. I recently got this beautiful rainbow cushion for my office chair. Rainbows make me feel happy. And so does Kitty. Here she is. Let's stand up. Magenta. She is a friend of Blue's. And now let's stand up Blue. It looks like they're both dancing. And both of their names are colors. 
We are also going to stand up the house that is standing between. Oops! Sorry, Magenta. Stand you back up. And it starts to rain, and then the sun shines through the rain droplets to create a rainbow. And the first color they see is purple. Let's move the house out of the way so we can see the rainbow. Then blue, just like blue the dog. What color's next? It is green. And then we have yellow, then orange, and last at the top of the rainbow is red. And look who's so relaxed. She's starting to close her eyes. Maybe she'll have a nap. Let's now make our rainbow using this CD. The CD acts like a mirror and then reflects the light onto a surface and splits it up into rainbow colors. Look at all the tiny rainbows. You can also fill a glass with water, put it on the windowsill on a sunny day, and when the sun shines through the water, it'll create a rainbow somewhere in your house. Thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. We sure hope you enjoyed our video today. We're here to ask our fans for some help. Did you know only 15% of our fans have subscribed to Tiny Treasures? So you can help us by pushing the subscribe button and subscribe to our channel. It helps us get recognized by YouTube when we gain subscribers. That way, we can continue to make fun learning videos every single day. And for those fans who have already subscribed to our channel, a great big thank you. Tiny Treasures and Toys Please subscribe! Hey all, and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Here are the Candy Teletubbies. And Candy Nunu has a surprise for them. Oh, look, Teletubbies behind you. Ooh. Hey, look, Teletubbies. It's elephant gummy candies that connect together like a puzzle with lemon, grape, blueberry, green apple, and orange. Oh, they're bigger than I thought. Snippity snip. Oh, yellow like Lala. That's right, Lala, a yellow elephant. Dipsy is holding an orange elephant. Let's see if you can fit them together, Dipsy. Good job! We're making an elephant train. Poe has a green elephant gummy. Mm. Good job! We now have three elephants, Poe. Tinky Winky has a purple elephant. Ooh, our elephant train is getting longer. Silly Nunu has a blue elephant on his head. Don't suck the gummy up, Nunu. Good job, Teletubbies. You worked as a team. Now we have one, two, three, four, five elephants. Say goodbye. Thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye.